I'm standing on Wittelsbach Square in Munich, one of Germany's top business addresses, in front of Siemens headquarters. I'd like to interview the new CEO, but he has his hands full at the moment. Peter Luscher has to investigate over a billion euros in bribes that were paid out before he came to Siemens. We have to get the best deals and the clean ones. We have to make these transactions and of course there are transactions we can't and won't make. We have to distance ourselves from certain deals. We're only interested in clean transactions. The dirty deals have long been in the hands of the public prosecutors. A few days ago in Munich, I attended a European Congress on fighting corruption. I wanted to find out how the Siemens investigations are going. It's a difficult case in a certain way, because it has very strong international implications, because it poses an entire series of legal problems concerning possible bribes abroad, the past and present legal situation and the creation of these so-called secret accounts. We have several legal problems to deal with. Economics professor Manuel Tyson tells me it's clear the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission will impose a hefty fine on Siemens. He says that in the past, fines for bribery have been several times larger than the bribes themselves. Has there ever been a similar case? Not on this scale. And that certainly means Siemens is blazing a trail in a negative sense for the SEC and the Americans. Because there's never been a comparable case in their country. That aggravates the situation. Because people like to impose their own rules on foreign companies. That's also a bit of a problem for Siemens. But I wouldn't like to imagine a recurrence on this scale. I go on to the offices of the Süddeutsche Zeitung. This newspaper reports almost daily on Siemens and its new CEO, who's shown in the past few months it is possible to do without resorting to bribery. And its reporters have always had a hand in exposing corruption at Siemens. During the past business year, Siemens had more incoming orders than ever before in the company's history. And there were certainly no large bribes last year because these schemes had already come to light, at least to some extent, and because people knew Siemens had to find new ways to conduct its business. Although Siemens now seems to be on the right path, it will still take months or even years until this corruption scandal is completely cleared up.